In this video, we solve problem 6.1.13 from Essentials of Statistics, 6th edition by Mario Triola. This time we're given an area and asked to find a z-score rather than being given a z-score and asked to find an area. So we've got this z-score labeled here. We're told that this is a standard normal distribution with a mean of zero and a standard deviation of one. And we want the area to the left of that z-score to be 0 0.9871. So I'm gonna show you my paper and then we will look at the table of z-scores in order to find the appropriate z-score. Okay, so we have the probability that Z is less than this particular Z, I'm just gonna call it Z naught so that it has a label for right now, is equal to this area to the left. So it's equal to 0 0.9871, that's area. And since we're given area to the left, we can look for this entry in the body of our table of z-scores and find the corresponding z that goes with it. That's the z-score that goes right there. So let's look at our table of z-scores. You'll have a hard copy of this when you take your exam. Now, the area is 0 0.9871. If that area is greater than 1 half, then you have to be to the right of that mean of 0. So that z-score has to be positive because that area is greater than 0 0.5. And now I'm looking in the body of the table. I'm going to zoom in. And I want an area of 0 0.9871. And you just want to get as close as you can. There's 0 0.9756. We've got 0 0.9821. I want 0 0.9871. So I'm continuing along this row here. Up oh, there we go. 0 0.9871 is right there. So that's the one. Now, in order to find the z-score that goes with that, I need to go this way and figure out what's going on. Oops, <laughs> there's my 0 0.9871. Sorry, maybe I can just zoom out. Can it handle that? No, I guess it can't. Oh, let's get rid of the annotation. 0.98. 7, 1. Where did it go? There it is. 0.9871. Um, that's associated with that z value right there. Uh, z equals 2.2. This is 2.20. This is 2.21. This is 2.22. And that must be 2.23. Now, if I want to check, if I want to be sure, I will um, go all the way to the top. Oops, let's clear all of that. Clear, there we go. And I'm here in this column. Yep, that's a three. So it's Z equals uh, 2.23. And that is the z-score associated with this area of 0 0.97 or 0 0.9871 to the left. So let's go to our homework assignment. Make sure that my lab statistics likes that. And they like it, so we know we did it right. <laughs> 